Okay, this is going to be part 11 of the series on improper integrals. And if you haven't done it yet, I would watch the previous videos, which will show you kind of how we've gotten to this point. And just a reminder, in the last two videos, we did this. We took a look, took a look at one problem uh, using uh, infinite discontinuities that had the asymptote on the right-hand side. That's what we call case one. Then in case two, we looked at a problem where you had the asymptote on the left-hand side of the interval. And what we'll look at in this last problem is this, what's called an interior asymptote. So the idea is rather than being on the left-hand side or the right-hand side, it's somewhere out here in the middle. So uh, we'll use this, it'll be a case three problem, and we'll actually do it like this. Since you have an asymptote in the middle, what you have to do is to split the problem into two parts. So first of all, you want, we want the integral all the way from A to B. But because of the asymptote in the middle, you're going to have to split it into two parts. And first of all, find the integral from A to C, which will give you this part over here. And then add that to the integral from C to B, which will give you this part over here. So again, you have to split it up into two parts and do each part separately. So with that in mind, let's take a look and see what a problem looks like. <clears throat> Okay, so our problem looks like this. We want to find the integral from, uh, <clears throat> of, from 0 to 3 of 1 over the cube root of x minus 1. Now, it'll help if you have the graph, so we'll go ahead and stick a graph up here just to look at it. <clears throat> if you were to graph the problem, it looks like this. Now, again, you'll find when x is equal to 1, you've got 1 minus 1. Division by 0, you'll have an asymptote in here. So what we'll do is, following those two steps, we'll split it up into two parts. First of all, we'll find the integral from 0 to 1 and then add that to the integral from 1 to 3. So again, you're just looking at these problems. We'll go from 0 to 1, and then from 1 to 3, and add the 2 together. So, um, what we'll do is just rewrite it. So we'll go ahead and rewrite this thing as the integral then from um, 0 to 1 of this thing. So the cube root of x minus 1, and then we'll add that to the integral from 1 to 3 of 1 over the cube root of this. So you can kind of think of two parts. We'll call this part 1. So part 1 here, and we'll have plus, and then we'll have a part 2 over here. So part two. And then what we'll do, we'll get two answers, and I think we'll go ahead and put them right here. We'll get uh, a part one answer right here. We don't know what that is yet. And we'll add to that the part two answer, which will be right here. And then you'll have the total answer to the problem. So we'll come back up and put those answers right here. Now again, the idea is, first of all, just look at this integral on the left and only worry about that. Now you want the integral from zero to one, and what that's going to give you would be this area in here. <laughs> And now, to do this, um, we'll treat it as two completely separate problems. And the only thing that's a little bit tricky on this, these things require u substitution. So it'll take a while to get through this, but we'll work the same thing. And what I think we'll do is this. We'll put the part one one on the left-hand side of the page, put the part two on the right-hand side of the page. So in that case, let's go ahead, go ahead and put a line right down the middle of the page. So it'll look like this. OK, let's go ahead. First of all, just looking at this one, let's find this thing right here. Now again. When you're working with this problem, it's very similar. Let's go back to the rules. This is going to be where you have an asymptote on the right-hand side. So actually follow these two steps right here. We'll pick a point C, find a definite integral from A to C, then we'll take the limit as C goes approaches B from the left. So again, if you haven't done it, you might want to watch the previous videos just to remind you of how to do this. So what we'll do on this problem, we'll come in here somewhere, and we will pick, right, say right here, a point C. And we're going to find the integral from 0 to C. Then we'll take the limit as this thing approaches 1. So you have, you have to treat them like two separate problems. So let's go ahead and do that. This is going to be, first of all, the integral. And this is going to be kind of the step one on this process. Uh, find the integral from 0 to some point C of this. So this will be 1 over the cube root of x minus 1 dx. Now I think the first thing I'm going to do is this. I'll go ahead and make this be the integral from 0 to c. Um, and let's change this into x minus 1 to the 1 third power. 
and then bring it up to the numerator, and it would be x minus 1 to the negative 1 third power. So we'll start by doing that one. Now this is just going to be a plain old u substitution problem. And what we'll have to do, since this is not a simple x, we'll let this be u right here, and we'll run through u substitution on this. So we'll scoot it down and uh, take care of the u substitution first of all. Okay, so in this problem, what I've got is this. Take it, just doing the u substitution part of things. I'll say, I'll let u be equal to x minus 1. Therefore, du dx will be equal to 1. So du is going to be equal to dx. So this matches up with this, just a plain old u substitution. And I'll substitute that right here. So there's my u substitution. Now remember, I've also got to change the limits on this thing now. So let's go ahead and change the limits. So limits will go here. So when um, x is equal to c, then u is equal to, and plug a c into this thing right here, and you'd have c minus 1. So we're finding the limits. Then when um, x is equal to 0, then u is equal to 0 minus 1, which gives you a negative 1. So here are your new u limits. So now we'll write the problem in terms of u and go from there. So what this is going to give you, it would be the integral from, now first of all, this is now u to the negative one-third, to the negative one-third, and then you've got replace dx with du. And the limits, though, go from negative one to c minus one. Okay, now we'll find this antiderivative. So what this would be, um, this will change into, if you add one to both the top and the bottom, this is going to be u to the two-thirds divided by two-thirds evaluated from negative one to c minus one. Okay, now we'll take the <clears throat> two-thirds, bring it to the top, turn it upside down, and that'll become three-halves of um, u to the two-thirds evaluated from negative one to c minus one. And now just go ahead and plug in the top number and plug in the bottom number. So that will get us to three-halves of, now again, in place of u, put c minus 1, so this will become c minus 1 to the 2 thirds um, minus a minus 1 to the 2 thirds. Now, this will simplify, so we'll go ahead and make that be 3 halves of uh, c minus 1 to the 2 thirds. And remember, if you take a negative 1, the cube root of a negative 1, and then square it, it will turn positive. So this will turn into a positive. So you'd actually have a minus 1 right here. So what this is, um, and I think we'll go ahead and let's do one more step. We'll go ahead and distribute that 3 halves. So this would be 3 halves of c minus 1 to the 2 thirds. And then when you distribute this, you'll have minus three halves. So we'll put a little box around this. And what this is, this represents, in general terms, the area, and we'll go back to the graph, it represents this blue area between zero and c. So actually, we'll put it from here to here. So it represents this definite integral from zero to c. Now that's part one. Now remember, let's go back to the rules again. Now the next thing you want to do then is to find the limit as c approaches the asymptote. So we'll take c and find the limit as c moves off to the right. So in our problem, we'll let c move toward 1 from the left. And what that does, it'll pick up this extra area right in here. So this will be part 2. And again, just like you've done in uh, previous videos. So that was step 1. That's the definite interval. Now we want to find in step 2, 
find the limit. Uh, and again, this will be as C approaches 1 from the left. So we're going to let C approach the asymptote from the left of this thing right here. So you've got three halves of C minus 1 to the 2 thirds minus three halves. Now when you take this limit, as C gets closer and closer to 1, you're going to have 1 minus 1. This whole thing will go to 0. So this entire term right here will go to 0. And the only thing that's going to be left will be this. You'll have minus 3 halves And this is going to be the area, uh, and we'll go back to the graph and look at it. That's going to be this, we'll put it in red here, that's going to be this area right here. So you've got half the problem done. So this area in here turned out to be a negative three halves. And just a reminder, that is convergent. So we'll go down here, and it converged on this. This is going to be convergent. And the reason that's important, uh, we'll go back to our rules here. Now what the rules say is this. Uh, if, when you're working this problem, if either one of these two integrals is diverging, you can stop because the whole thing will be diverging. So the first part of the problem is convergent, so you can keep going and you hope that the second part is going to be convergent, then you can put two parts together. So let's continue on. Okay, now what that does, that takes care of this part of the problem right here. So when I did it, this part right here turned into a negative 3 halves. Now I want to add that to something here, but I'm not sure what the second part is. So I've got the first part of the problem done. Okay, now let's work the second part of the problem. And it's actually going to be sort of a repeat with a little bit of variation. Now you want to find this integral right here. So what that's going to be, the integral from 1 to 3. But what this is going to be like, let's go back to the rules, so if you want to go from 1 to 3, now the asymptote is on the left-hand side. So looking at the rules, it's going to look like a case 2 problem. You'll treat this, you're going to pick a point C, then you're going to let C slide to the left toward A. So you'll find the limit as C approaches A from the right. So this will be like a case 2 problem. So again, what we'll do is just pick some point C right here, and we'll find the integral from c to 3, this definite integral from c to 3, then we'll take the limit as this thing approaches uh, 1 from the right. But basically the same process. So right now I want to change it into, this is going to be part 2. So this time you're going to go the integral from c over to 3. So um, we'll find this definite integral right here. So this will be 1 over uh, the cube root of x minus 1 dx. Again, the process will be similar with a couple of differences, but we will have to use substitution again. So this is going to go from c to 3, and just like we did on this one, we'll rewrite this as x minus 1 to the negative 1 third power, and again we'll have to use u substitution. But again, we'll let u be equal to this, so the use substitution will actually be the same, sort of. So we'll just sort of, and actually we'll compare them left and right. You can see the differences which we ran through this. So here we'll let u be equal to x minus 1. So just like before, du dx will be equal to 1. So du will be equal to dx. And this is going to be the substitution right here. So we'll substitute du for dx. But again, you have to change the limits. Now they're going to be a little bit different on this side. So we'll change it from x limits into u limits. So in this case, when x is equal to the top limit 3, then u is equal to, and go ahead and plug the 3 in right here, and that would be 3 minus 1, which gives you 2. So when x is equal to 3, u is equal to 2. Now let's get the lower limit. So when x is equal to c, then u is equal to, in this case, c minus 1. So there's the lower limit. So now you've got the two limits. So now go ahead and change the problem into a u problem. 
So this is going to become, we'll kind of, it'll be very similar to what we did over here. It'll become the integral from c minus 1 to 2 of u to the negative 1 third and then v. So really the only difference is the limits on this thing. So let's find the antiderivative of that, which would be, um, again, you're going to have u to the 2 thirds divided by 2 thirds, but this time evaluated from c minus 1 to 2. So we'll run through the same process. Now again, take 3 halves, turn it upside down. So that's going to be 3 halves of the integral of u to the 2 thirds evaluated from c minus 1 to 2. So plug in the 2 and plug in the c minus 1. So this will be 3 halves of, now this would be 2 to the 2 thirds minus um, c minus 1 to the 2 thirds. Okay, now on this one, we can go ahead and take the limit now. We'll just go ahead and, what this is, we'll put a little box around this thing and leave it in this form just for a second. Um, what this is, this represents, and we'll come up here and shade it again. This represents this black area right here, the definite integral from C to 3. But now you want to go, and we'll go back to our rules again. <clears throat> that gives us this black integral right here. So now we want to take the limit as C approaches the asymptote from the right. So that'll pick up this additional area. So if we let C approach 1 <clears throat> from the right, then you'll pick up this additional area right here, and you'll have the whole thing. <coughs> okay, back down to the bottom, and in step 2 here, Let's say we'll take the limit as c this time approaches 1, but this time it's coming at it from the right of this thing. So this will be 3 halves of, now this you can write as the cube root of this thing to the fourth minus c minus 1 to the 2 thirds. Now, if you take the limit as c approaches 1, <clears throat> this term will actually go to 0, <clears throat> and you'll be left with just this right here. So 3 halves times the cube root of 4. So what this is, this is this area up in all this area up in here. So this one would be 3 halves times the cube root of 4. <clears throat> So now that's going to be this part. Add these two together. So 3 halves times the cube root of 4. So this is the actual area if you added the whole thing together. Now if you change this to a decimal, it will actually turn out to be about 0.881. Um, but that's the process. So the idea is to split it into two parts. You've got the first part here, and you've got the second part here. So treat each one as two separate integrals. Find the answer to the first part. Find the answer to the second part. Both of them are convergent. Add it together, and you get the total solution. So what that is, that's an example of this third type problem right here. So split them up into two integrals and find each one separately.